Hello again everybody. Welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name's Karen and I'm here today to finish off a video that I started yesterday that you're never going to see. <laughs> oh, I made you a lovely video yesterday. I started making these pieces of ephemera. It's a brilliant video it was. Absolutely marvellous. No mistakes in it. And um, I said I have to pause now and do some inking and it's getting late so I'll come back tomorrow to finish off and I've come back tomorrow to finish off only to realise that six minutes after I started yesterday's video apparently my oldest daughter had phoned me and my phone had stopped recording so you didn't see any of this. <laughs> So, and I have just got out my gold paint and I've lost it. So I'm just going to have to, well, let me tell you what I've done. I'm making these pieces of ephemera. These are going to be pockets. So what I did, these are, um, this is um, the inner part of a roll of wrapping paper. Um, so, you know, the ones that haven't got the cardboard tube down the middle, they have that brown paper and it's not quite card but it's quite sturdy paper that's rolled up so I've sort of tried to unroll it a bit. I cut what was left into four because this is going to be for a journal that has four signatures so there'll be one for each signature and then I scored um, around each side then I folded the top one over and stuck it down so that's just to strengthen what will be the top of the pocket and then I snipped the edges of the rest and obviously these are going to be folded in to make the gussets of the pocket and obviously there'll be glue here and that will be stuck on the page and then I decided I was going to decorate them and I've got a piece of lace missing off this one that must have gone on the floor that will do so each one's got a different piece of lace that's going to go underneath and then a bit of music paper a little bit of book page and a butterfly for each one and what I want to do um, I paused the camera to um, ink round everything and obviously the camera wasn't even running. <laughs> so I've inked around everything, including the butterflies. It's not very obvious, but I want to put a little bit of gold around each butterfly, just around the edge. So I just need to go and find what I've done with my gold. I'll be back in a sec. Well, the, the reason I had lost it is because I want to use this um, you see that it's metallic gilding polish it's by cosmic shimmer and you have to wet the sponge so i'd taken it to the bathroom to wet the sponge and i always make a real mess when i'm using this so i thought oh i wonder if i could use um what did i want to use q-tips um because these are very tiny, these butterflies. And if I try and use the big sponge, I know I'm going to make a right old mess. And I couldn't find any. So while I was looking for the cotton buds, obviously I'd put the put the paint down in my bedroom. And then I couldn't find it. So what I found instead is um, a little eye makeup, you know, an eyeshadow sponge from a little tiny palette. So I thought I'm going to try to use this to put some gold around the edges of my butterflies and hope that doesn't make as much mess as I usually do. So I don't know if you can see that on camera. I feel like I should be using tweezers for this. But I haven't got any tweezers up here. Or have I? Um. <laughs> I 
don't think I have. I'm just trying to think where my um, Cricut tools are because there's a nice pair of tweezers in there. And I'm trying to think whether that is up here or in the garage. So I don't know how well the camera is going to pick that up. But there's a little bit, oh yeah, you can see it just about, I think. Might help if I've got my hand under the camera. Can you see a little tiny bit of gold around the edge of the butterfly? So I'm going to do that on each one. So I'll just pause while I do that because you don't need me to see me do each one of those. She says, I can't see the pause. Right, I'm back again. I've um, edged all the butterflies in gold. That worked quite well using that little um, eyeshadow applicator so little tip for you there so now while they're drying a little bit I'm going to um, glue the rest of these bits I didn't find tweezers but I found pliers so I used those to hold my butterflies so I'm going to start um, sticking these bits down on here um this butterfly was the first one i did so it should be dry now do i want that this way or this way maybe i'll have it like that and i need to check which way around the lace needs to go this lace is very curly must have been the middle part of the roll. I must spend some time one day making some like, lace holders and um, sticking sticking the yeah, sorry not sticking wrapping the lace around the lace holders because at the moment my lace is all over the place right let's get these roughly where i want them to be so yeah how annoying with my um video from yesterday so this is going to be a very truncated <laughs> um make today but, you know, I'm sure you know how to cut out rectangles of paper and score them and fold them. Um, you can work out what I've done so far. Right, now this needs to go about there and then that will be going... I'm going to go back in afterwards and put a little bit more glue. I just wanted to get these things roughly where I want them to be. Um, actually, I think I need to use something a bit stronger underneath there now that it's in position. So... A little bit under there so have I asked you how you all are today I'm not sure if I have hope you're all well hope your day's gone better than mine <laughs> more successfully um, I can't remember now what I said and what I didn't say in the last video the um, ephemera that I'm working on is for a journal that you will see in the coming weeks being made um, so you'll probably see these being made we will see these being made before you see the actual journal being made so you'll probably you'll see the video of me 
pulling all the bits together for this journal after you've seen the bits I'm using being used, which is a bit mind blowing. <laughs> so, right. down there in that there's a bit there that's not got much writing on so I might pop I might pop that little butterfly there right I think I'm going to use my pliers for this because my fingers are already very sticky so I'm just going to stick everything to myself and make a mess otherwise in there and leave him to dry so that's the first one popped together so that's going to be a pocket in one signature where should I put that to dry I don't want to put it on there that's all my bits for the journal I don't want to um I've got my order muddled up now with which butterfly went and which and which thing. Right, so let's do a bit more sticking. Everything's sticking to my fingers. Oh, I'm making a mess of this, aren't I? Yeah, I'll go in afterwards and um Anywhere that there's not glue, I'll just add a little bit. And then this was another darker butterfly. It's the one with the gold on, can you see? I don't know how well that's picked. Oh, it's better if I aim it towards the light, you can see. Funny that, isn't it? If you shine a light on something, you can see it better. Who knew? Right. Now we're going to have this little chap. <gasps> Oops. Nearly dropped it out of my hand then. I think I'm going to put him in the middle. Actually, there's something there. What's that? Oh, a bit of a smudge there. Leave that one to dry. Then we have this one. stick on just to hold it while I fiddle about she says and it springs back up that's wonky oh, I've got my lace wonky that's why I can't have wonky music. I can't remember which way around I had that now. 
I don't know what I like best. I like the um, base clef showing. I don't, I, I want to cover the top of the lace, I know that. Then do I want this tucked under there? Or do I want it on top? See, when I do a good video without any faffing, it doesn't work. <laughs> and then when the video's working, I start faffing. Oh, my fingers have got all sticky again. I'm smudging the ink. Try and get rid of some of the stickiness. This one had this one. that to dry and this is the last one I've just cleaned my hands and they're sticky again I've moved, um, swapped out some of my papers. Oh no, that's got too much blank space on it. Oh dear. Maybe I should have um, just abandoned this project, you know, just done it off camera <laughs> as I lost to the first half. Still, we've done it now. I'm going to tuck a little bit of glue under there. This last little butterfly on. Do I feel like that's gone wonky? Does it look wonky? Come on, butterfly. So it's not a very exciting video today. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm sorry if it feels a bit disjointed or a bit sort of come out of nowhere <laughs> because I know this is not anything um, so far that you know it's not following on from anything but this these could be standalone pieces and as I say I did record the, because I recorded the first half of the video um, I know I haven't sort of introduced this project properly um, 
so I apologize if it's a bit confusing but I hope you've um, found it interesting to watch nevertheless so we have four pockets ready for the journal I will be making shortly and they're all the same but different <laughs> that's what we've done today um, get my glue page out of the way can you see them all right there maybe I should put them that way and there we go that's what we've done today so as I say I'm sorry if that was a strange or confusing video and I'm sorry for the noise outside but thank you very much for joining me thank you for watching and I'll be back again soon, hopefully with something that makes a little bit more sense. Take care, enjoy your crafting time. Bye bye.